Hey guys, it's Liv here, and in today's video, we're going to be taking on Randy in a VGC best of three set. If you guys enjoy the VGC content on the channel and you want to see more videos like this, leave a like and subscribe. We're going to be bringing a ton of VGC content now that we have the battle spot ladder. So I'd love to see those of you who are interested, of course, making sure you're showing your support, etc, etc. Uh, with that said as well, comment down below what you guys want to see. I had to wipe most of my builder because of this format. so. I'm gonna need a ton of different team ideas. If anyone has anything they would like to see, I could send it off to the people who usually help me with VGC building and we can get something going. Uh, but with that said, let's get into the team. So first up, we do have Tinkaton. Uh, this team is built around actually Tinkaton and Oren Guru, if you couldn't tell by the thumbnail. With Tinkaton being an Assault Vest user, with own tempo, this does actually block opposing Intimidate, which should be pretty valuable considering this doesn't have the best attack stat. And with the Assault Vest, it's basically gonna make Tinkaton into a really good special defense sponge, which is something it's pretty decent at already. With knockoff on its wheelhouse, it's great at removing items, which is also good for scouting information because of item claws in VGC. With fake out, we're great at just being a nice option for turn one, stopping opponents from doing stuff. And with our dual stabs, it's honestly just a really powerful dual stab set, especially with Gigaton Hammer, which is pretty useful in tandem with our Orin Guru. I will say the spread we bought to the game was a little different, but the run of code is going to have this spread. I realized it afterwards when making my slides that the, the initial spread wasn't built around Trick Room and there were still 88 speed EVs left in here, and then the IVs were dropped to zero, which basically just for a trick room set, we're able to just drop the 22 IVs instead of going to zero, which still creeps 85s, but it also means that we're not losing of like 88 wasted EVs. So this is the spread that if you're running this team later on, I would recommend. Uh, I have this in the spread for the rental code. I just did not run this in the game as all. Well. So you'll notice there, there's a decent waste of EVs in this match to say the least. Uh, next up, we do have Warren Guru with Trick Room, Psychic, Protect, and Instruct. Basically, it's just meant to be a really good Trick Room setter. With Mental Herb, we do stop opposing Taunt users from stopping us. And with Instruct, outside of Trick Room, we're able to make Tinkaton into an absolute threat, making Tinkaton go for Gigaton Hammer multiple times in a row. Uh, if you, I will say as well, I did notice another thing in this match. Uh, if you want, uh, if you want to make sure specifically you're going for the Instruct in Trick Room and making it underpace a lot of stuff, make Warren Guru not minus speed. In fact, specifically, I would actually go with minus attack and throwing a bit of EVs into speed. So then Tinkaton can make sure to go for this beforehand. You also have the option of going for room service on Tinkaton, which also is a pretty valuable idea. Uh, but you do have a lot of options to make this work in Trick Room, but Orin Guru going for Instruct typically is more to meant for out of Trick Room routes, uh, which is why we do have the speed creeping as well on Tinkaton. Next up, we do have Rotom Wash with the Citrus Berry with Levitate as an ability. Uh, this is a Terra Electric set with Thunderbolt, Nasty Plot, Hydro Pump, and Protect. Basically, Protect is meant to get around different fake out options with Hydro Pump and Thunderbolt being really strong offensive pieces. You could potentially ditch Protect for Terra Blast and go for Terra Fire at that point, which would be very valuable for Amoongus matchups. I've noticed that's been going around a lot and I just wanted to mention it. But this set over here, I do personally prefer Protect as it's, again, really good for a different fake out redirection or at the very least, people fake outing into Rotom, since I've noticed that dual stabs even still is a really strong matchup for a lot of different cases with Rotom. So I don't really personally value Tire Blast on this particular build, especially when we do have our next Mon being an offensive fire type with Arcanine. I don't really mind the Amoongus matchup. But speaking of, we do have Arcanine with Wild Charge, Flare Blitz, E-Speed, and Close Combat. This is a Terra Normal set meant to just take advantage of priority with E-Speed and make that do more damage. Though, as well, we do have Flare Blitz, which is really here to help break down steals that would otherwise get in Tinkaton's way. Uh, with the Wild Charge, it's really decent as well for potential opposing waters, and Close Combat is just a great option. It's really spammable. We didn't really need a fourth option on here, though if you're looking for something else, some other viable options are stuff like Crunch, uh, Player Off, Outrage even potentially, but I probably wouldn't go with Outrage. I'd just go with Player Off at that point. Iron Head as well could be pretty decent. Actually, yeah, Iron Head could be pretty decent for fairies. Depends on what you want to do. Personally, if I'm going to ditch Close Combat for anything though, it would probably be for Player Off, but you have a lot going here. Uh, we do have Braylon up next with Focus Sash. We have Spore, Protect, Bullet Seed, and Close Combat. Basically, Bullet Seed is just a really good a Sash Breaker for Breloom, and Spore is a great utility option to put opposing Pokemon to sleep, which could make Tinkaton's job a lot easier, as well as Arcanine and Rotom's. And it's really just meant to be a good utility piece here, while also being a little more offensive than Amoongus. And it's still pretty decent as well as a Breaker, again, for Steel types. Final mod of the team we have is to Dunsparce. Uh, to Dunsparce, I'll be honest, I'm really 50-50 if I want to bring this or Dragalj, but I opted for the Dunsparce build here. Uh, this has Coil with Roost, Tantrum, and Body Slam as options. With Roost and Coil, you're able to honestly just sit on a lot of different teams, and I've noticed a lot of Terra Ghost options going around, which this can absolutely sponge. We have Tantrum on here mostly as an offensive way to deal with teams that go for Terra Ghost. 
So I feel like I do like this. So I will say Drakum Dragalge with some sort of set probably, honestly, probably go with some sort of, uh, Jack I don't know. Probably would go with Life Orb in all honesty with like Draco, Poison Move, Protect, and Filler. Though you have a lot of options with Dragalge. I do recommend it as an option at least to consider over to Sparse, but personally, I think I'm a little more sold after doing some ladder games with Donuts Parse on this as the option. Regardless though, that is going to be our team for this match. Hopefully you guys enjoy this and let's get right into the battle. Peace out guys. Hey guys, we're here today with another best of three VGC game. I will say uh, it's kind of funny how all the Ruin options ended up getting banned because I was telling Clutch, this will be the first team I use when Battlespot comes out. And unironically, the rules that came out and all the Ruin mods ended up being banned. So instead of being the first team for Battle Spot, it's the team I'm introducing the format with instead, which ended up again being a little more true than I thought it would be to say the least. Uh, but hopefully you guys enjoy the vid. And if you do, leave, leave a like, of course. It's obviously very appreciated. And with that said, let's get right into it. So we're fighting Randy to Titan Hail. So it worked out pretty well for having a Tinkaton matchup. Uh, we have Tinkaton plus Oranguru. I probably went over it in the builder, but Instruct works with this pretty well. You can actually click uh, Gigaton Hammer twice because of this. So Randy only having one steel check is pretty much like perfect for me. I will say, I think that as far as my lead goes, I'm definitely leading with uh, Arcanine for sure. Considering my opponent has the Hill Core, I can't really not lead Arcanine here. I'm gonna probably lead off with Arcanine and Rotom. I'm gonna bring Tinkaton in the back for certain. And then I think for my last Mon, I kind of want to bring Burly in this game. I think that Dunsparce also has a bit of merit though. I don't really want to bring Oranguru yet. I think I'm going to bring Dunsparce for now. And I'm going to I'm gonna wait and see how weak my opponent's team ends up being to Burly. Because I think it could be decent. Just, I don't, I don't know how I'm feeling on it just yet. At least for the first match. But good luck have fun to Randy though. I'm kind of hoping we can win a game one. Because I don't think we've won a game one against anyone besides Kurt. Who we swept game one. Well, game one and two. So I'm kind of hoping we can win another game one here. I guess we've only done a couple VGC on the channel, huh? Well, Randy's gonna lead off with Dragapult and uh, Grimmsnarl. So already a pretty terrifying lead, of course. Clear Body Pult, good to reveal. It probably means physical and it's probably Terra Ghost. I can't really imagine why else it would be Clear Body. Um, but regardless, good to know. It could be Dragon Dart, uh, Terra Dragon with Dragon Darts to be fair, but still good information. Uh, as far as my first turn, seeing that Basically, Randy probably either had to bench Hail or he had to bench Rotom. I think with that in mind, I'm going to Flare Blitz into the Grim Spot. And I think that I'm going to go for a... I think I'm going to go for a Protect on Rotom. Solely for the fact that I think that Randy will probably try and fake out Rotom. Just considering the fact that he has no real great switch into Rotom. I set up a Bomb Snow. So if he did bench... Well, actually, I guess he has Among Us. He has a great switch in either way. I take it back. So I was going to say, he doesn't really have a ground type, but it doesn't really matter. He'd prefer a Grass here. So Randy's going to go for Dragon Darts, and that's going to do a ton of damage considering the fact that I protected with Rotom. So, very unfortunate actually. However, my Flare Blitz should be pretty decent against Grim. Uh, we do see that that basically picks up the KO, which I'll take that. In all honesty, clearing Grim basically from the field is, in my opinion, pretty beneficial here. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to bring in Tinkaton, and I'm going to go for the Fake Out. And then on the Dragapult, I'm probably going to click Thunderbolt. Basically, though, my goal here is just to take out the Grimmsnarl at this point. So, Dragapult, really, it's just about getting any sort of damage off, and maybe we even paralyze it, which will be great. If my opponent switches here, so be it. I don't overly mind that. But I think that, again, just picking off Grimmsnarl before it does any sort of shenaniganry will be in my best interest, in my opinion. Because this mod could absolutely try and destroy my team. So, I'm not even going to begin to try and play around it. Well, uh, not play around it. My opponent's going to switch out Dragon Ball here, and they're going to bring in Rotom. Okay, so the Steve play looks a lot smarter than it was. I just figured I would attack Dragon Ball, and if I got a Para, I got a Para. This does not take out Grimmsnarl. Fucking weak Mon. Um, this is... Is this really not Prankster Grim? Randy, what the fuck? Wait. No, this is definitely Prankster Grim. Why didn't that... Why didn't that... What? What the fuck, Randy? The, is there some sort of new item that blocks flinch? Oh, you know what? There is. There's the item that blocks secondary effect. Randy, you jackass. <laughs> you fucking jackass. Did he really bring that? Oh my god. There's no fucking way that he brought that. There's no way. It was like the, what, the shield thing? Um, yeah, the, no, it wasn't that. Fuck. What, what the fuck, Randy? <laughs> I don't even know what the name of the item is. God damn it. You can't do this to me. On um, what terror type am I? I'm Paris Steel. Okay, just had to make sure. I'm gonna go for player off into the pulse slot. 
And I'm gonna go for another, what terror type am I on this? A terror ghost, okay. Interesting, interesting. I'm gonna T-bolt on the Rotom real quick. Just figure it would be beneficial overall. That Rotom is probably gonna be Terra Fire if he's going for Terra on Rotom. No, he's gonna go for Terra on Pult. He's gonna go for Terra Ghost, okay. Terra Ghost isn't too bad. I don't really mind this, kinda wish I knocked off, but player off is still gonna be decent damage if nothing else. Just would have been better to go for a knockoff. We do see the Terra Ghost, Terra Blast though. Ah, uh, physical pull, of course, being physical pull. Okay, and that doesn't that does a ton of damage. Holy shit. Let's see. Okay, so this is also a life orb. And it is Terra Ghost. Good to know. Obviously, this does give away a ton of information about my opponent's team. Uh, Brodom also seems to be citrus, so it's just like me for real. Ah, uh, let's see. Okay. So this is, again, pretty decent if nothing else. Uh, we also know that Grim is parting shot. Which, again, good information. Willow on the Rotom. A little annoying, actually, I can't lie. Since now Tinkaton is burned, that's actually a pretty big detriment to it in general this match. Um, As far as the Pult goes, I'm going to definitely go for the knockoff here. Just try and rid this thing of Life Orb so it does a bit less damage. And I'm going to go for Protect on Rotom. My goal here is basically just to try and stall another turn. Even if it's just literally one extra turn that I can get an attack off with Tinkaton. And just keep a mon alive, I guess, would be the best play here. I'm probably going to, after this turn, switch hard into Dawn Sparse. But it depends on what Randy does here. Uh, my opponent's going to go for Amoongus. Okay, so Amoongus is the last mon. This is good information if nothing else. I figured out that fourth mon here. It should be pretty valuable. I will say having Arcanine in the back might have been pretty useful at this point, but not a huge deal. We'll just have to kind of make it do what we can. Terra Blast on Rotom, thankfully. At the very least, we can avoid the we can avoid the one shot where the KO here in general would protect. Um. Okay. Wait. Oh, are you fucking kidding? I just realized I clicked Fake Out. Oh, are you fucking kidding? All right, that's a little annoying now. Um, I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna go for the Dunsparce. I didn't even realize I clicked fake out there. I genuinely thought I clicked knockoff. So now I look really fucking stupid. Oh my god. Because I genuinely thought I clicked knockoff and for some reason just nothing happened. I'm not sure why, but now now Tinkaton's kinda fucked. Because I, I might not even guarantee get off the knockoff anymore, which would really suck. Okay, thankfully we're gonna get the knockoff off, which is the important thing there. Uh we're gonna also be able to bring back in Rotom later on. Again, burn Tinkaton kinda sucks. I really wish I knocked off first, but it is what it is. Um, let's see. Okay. So, thankfully, Dazan Spar should be pretty obnoxious to KO. What I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna go into Rotom, of course, and I'm gonna click Protect. And then with Dazan Sparse, I think I'm going to set up. Let's see. So we have Grim. Run. Yeah, I think I'm gonna start setting up with Dazan Sparse since we should be able to beat this whole team actually, thankfully, especially with Coil. Um, I'm gonna click T-Bolt on Rotom just to try and be a nuisance to pull. And if my opponent does end up going for going for Denon Sparse, I'm fine with that. But we're gonna go for Coil here. As long as my opponent doesn't click, well, no, I guess they could click Spore, and Spore could be pretty bad. Um, but we should at least, if nothing else, outpace on the first Coil. So we'll at least get plus one up. So it really just depends on how much Randy does with Dragon Darts, which it seems to do nothing. Oh my god, okay. So I'll definitely take that, actually. That means we could probably just take out the Dragapult here, which Amon gone is definitely pretty valuable. Not only this, but Rotom and Grim are also fairly weak. So we would basically be looking at a Moongus going for Spore onto Dunsparce, or we're in a pretty good spot here. Because what I could do next turn is I can go for the Body Slam on the on the Amoongus, which will honestly be really amazing. My guess is that, okay, yeah, it's gonna go for Giga on Rotom. That's fine, not a big deal. I don't actually mind this a lot. Since again, basically my goal here would be to just keep the Dunsparce as healthy as possible, which should be pretty easy to do against this team. Um, when if Rotom comes in, I'm just gonna body slam the Rotom. Otherwise, I'm going to go for a I'm gonna go for a Roost here, I think, just to try and keep this as healthy as possible for when I inevitably do get spored. I don't really want to let this mon take too much damage. We're gonna see Grimmsnarl come in. That's perfectly fine. It's probably gonna go for Fake Out at this point, which isn't a huge deal. Uh, we're going to go for the Roosh, though. Again, just want to keep this as healthy as possible because I want to try and maximize my turns in between sleep. Uh, Grim's going to go for Taunt. Okay, that's actually pretty annoying. 
Um, we'll probably see Amoongus go for Spore. Unless, it would literally have to be like AV. Yeah, okay, so it's gonna go for Spore. Uh, that's a little annoying, but not a huge deal. I'm gonna just go for Body Slams here. And just try and take out the... I'm just gonna try and take out the Grim. Purely so I can avoid getting taunted later on. Since that's gonna be, in my opinion, the most valuable option I can do here. So we're gonna go for Body Slam. Uh, let's see, what Terra type are we? We're Terra Normal. May as well. May as well Terra Normal at this point. There's not really any other modded Terra, and we might end up doing enough to Amoongus to where we can at least crit it and take it out. I highly doubt that even with plus one that we'll actually raw take out Amoongus, uh, but maybe I'm, maybe I'm just underestimating Terra plus uh, a plus one boost. Uh, because to be fair, Denon Sparse is, has at least a decent attack set at base 100, although we're not really invested either. We're really spit F. So Grim's going to go for Parting Shot. Perfectly fine. I don't really mind the attack drop here since Grim basically would need to cycle through. Uh, so, this is honestly not too big of a deal. Rotom's definitively coming in here, which works out for me, since, especially if I turn one wake up, I attack the Rotom slot, and that Mon is probably the best option around my Denon Sparse, considering it can go for Plot plus Hydro Pump. So, I'll honestly take that. Giga Drain's doing literally nothing, also. Uh, this is basically just gonna be recovered through Leftovers. So, I'll also take that for sure. So, yeah, if we wake up this turn, though, we can take out the Rotom, and the Dunsparce might actually be in a pretty good position to win the game here. Rage Powder's gonna go off. Okay, so Moongus is trying to basically set up Sabi then Rotom Plot. Nope, never mind. It's just gonna go for Thunderbolt, which that's also fine if I can take out the... Okay. So it doesn't look like we're gonna take out the Moongus. Unfortunate. Um, can we shake off Taunt at least? Can we shake off Taunt? I think it's next turn. Can we shake off Taunt? Okay, thank god. So yeah, if I get the if I get the roost off this turn, I literally need to wake up this turn, and I need to get the roost off. Which if I do, I'm still fine. Uh, I live to see another day, especially if a Moongus goes for Rage Powder. That's really good for me. Otherwise, a little shaky, but it is what it is. Rotom's gonna go for Thunderbolt here. That does not take us out. We wake up, and thankfully, we're able to get up a roost. This is gonna be pretty valuable, uh, considering we're able to recover through. We're actually able to recover past the damage that they're doing. Um, so Giga Drain does around 40, and T-Bolt did around, like, 80. Okay. That's good information. So, Rani kind of has to make a call here. I'm gonna go for a Roost this turn, thinking that Rani will go for Rage Powder. Um, and I'm just gonna try and get a little bit more HP back before I then Body Slam the Rotom. Since Rani basically would need to dual attack me to actually make any damage progress. Hydro Pump's gonna go off. Ooh, that might make the difference. Nope, it does not. So I can actually afford, if Randy's really going for pumps here, I can actually afford to just go for Roost until Randy misses a pump, which will also be valuable. Nope, never mind. Spore's gonna go off. Should have raw attacked the, should have raw attacked the Among Us. But to be fair, if, I will say, there was a little bit of options here for Randy to have been fine anyway, even if he did attack me. Um, but at this point, I kind of need to hope for a really early wake up, and again, just to go for Roost. Um, because I, I need Randy to miss pump. If he's gonna go for T-Bolt plus Giga Drain though, that might actually be enough. Yeah, okay, that, that might be enough with uh, Giga Drain. Which is a little unfortunate, but you know what? For game one, we got a lot of information off, so I will definitely take that. Um, also, I just realized that with Randy having will he probably doesn't have Plot on Rotom. So, yeah, at this point, I'm just gonna go for Roost and see. Maybe Randy clicks the wrong move on accident. We will have to see though. Um... We've gotten a lot of information out of Randy's team, if nothing else. So, for our game one, I will definitely take that. Moving on to game two, I think that basically what I need to do, I need to I need to probably lead off with Tinkaton. I think that leading off with Tinkaton will be pretty beneficial here. Especially since I can go for Tinkaton. And I think I'm going to go with Orangu as the other lead option. Um, and basically, my game plan is going to be to try and go for... I think I'm going to go for the... Let's see, what do I want to actually do here? I'm not entirely sure. I think, I think looking at my team, Tinkaton is definitely a lead though, and I think I might lead off with Rotom actually. I think Rotom Tink will be pretty beneficial against my opponent, if nothing else, because I can probably go for Fake Out if Pult doesn't lead on literally either Mon, and then with Rotom, my goal will be to just try and be obnoxious for my opponent to KO. Um, let's see, so I'm definitely gonna bring Arcanine in the back. I'm gonna bring Tinkaton, Rotom, I'm gonna bring Arcanine, Actually, am I going to bring Rotom? I don't know if I'm going to. I'll, I can't lie. I think Rotom didn't really do a lot last game. I'm going to bring Orangu. I'm going to bring Arcanine. And I'm going to bring Dodon Sparse. Because I think that 
Arcanine plus Stazan Sparse in the back could actually be pretty good against my opponent. And Tinkerton plus Oren Guru, even outside of going for Instruct this turn, will still be pretty decent overall. What I can basically end up doing, I can go for... I can, what I'm probably going to end up doing is I'm probably going to go for Trick Room on Oren Guru. Trick Room into... Well, actually, I might go for Protect on turn 1 and then Trick Room on the second turn. And I'll probably go for Knock Off on Tinkerton and then... Basically, I can just use Trick Room instead of winning with Tinkaton to win with Dedan Sparse. I think that might be in my best interest because Dedan Sparse actually has a really good matchup against Randy's team. Uh, even Especially since it's Terra Ghost Pull and not Terra Dragon, this actually will be a Mon that could put up a lot of damage against Randy. We're going to see Grimshaw and Rotom lead. Perfectly fine with this, actually. So, turn one, I'm definitely going to click Protect on... I'm going to click Fake Out on... No, I'm going to click Gigaton Hammer on Grim, actually. And I'm going to go for... I'm going to go for Protect... No, I'm going to go for Trick Room on Oranguru. My goal here is basically to just try and slow the team down a bit. I think that... I mean, I could fake out the Rotom, to be fair, and avoid Burn. But I don't overly mind if Rotom really goes for a will o -Spear, Uh, Because my goal here would more so be to just try and get some good... Just to try and get some good damage on the Grim before it starts, like, parting shotting around my team. I don't really need Tinkerton as a breaker. It's more so just here to knock off random stuff. We're going to see turn one Terra, uh, which I'm curious what Mon Granny's Terra. He's going to Terra the Rotom. Is it going to be Fire? No, it's going to be Electric. Okay. really thought it would be Fires because uh, I've seen a couple of these, uh, mostly just for Amoongus killing. Uh, Randy and I actually did a battle earlier where I brought a, I brought a Chiyu team. That's why we're doing a battle now, so I can have a team that's legal for the format. So... Uh, thankfully, though, uh, this ends up actually being Terra Electric, so a little bit di different, but regardless, I will definitely take that. Um, we're going to get the Trick Room up, which should be really good for us, actually. Seeing that Randy's Terra Electric Rotom is actually pretty nice. What I can do here, I'm going to go for the Yugaton Hammer. Um, actually, hold on. How much? I wonder if Flare Up would be enough to kill Rotom. I feel like it's probably not. I'm going to go for Gigaton Hammer, though, on the Grim, and I'm going to go for an Instruct on the Tinkaton. I think Instruct overall should be pretty decent, but we'll have to, uh, let's see. So Grim's gonna go for Parting Shot here. That's perfectly fine. We're gonna get the Instruct off at the very least. And even with the, even with the minus one, we should still be in a pretty good position here. My opponent's probably gonna bring in, they're probably gonna bring in Amoongus. I can't imagine. Yeah, okay, so they're gonna bring in Amoongus. That's fine. I don't mind this a lot. Uh, and with the, oh, are you fucking kidding? That goes first? Ugh. Okay, so that's a little annoying. I need to keep it in mind. I forgot that that Oren Guru's Instruct isn't minus priority. So that's definitely something that I will like really need to keep in mind for later matches because it's going to definitely affect a lot of plays that I make. Um, we're going to 100% go for a knockoff on Rotom, and I'm going to go for a Psychic on Amoongus, and I'm going to try and just put that get that thing damaged in general. Amoongus is probably slow speed and it's going to get go for Spore. Okay. So I don't mind Spore entirely here, actually, because putting Tinkaton to sleep isn't a big deal for me. My end game here is probably Dunsparce or Dunsparce or Arcanine. So going for going for Spore on Tinkaton isn't a big deal. My opponent's probably gonna T-Bolt into the Orange Guru slot, if I had to guess. Which I don't really mind either Mon getting Thunderbolted. It seems like it's Tinkaton actually. So this is also, again, perfectly fine by me. Um, I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for knockoff on Amoongus just in the off chance that I wake up early on. And I'm gonna go for Psychic on Amoongus just in the off chance that Randy doesn't go for Spore here, because my goal here basically would be to take out Amoongus because it frees up Arcanine's potential to do a lot more damage to the team. So I'll definitely take that, uh, especially without Randy being Terra on Pult for Dedan Sparse. I could actually make Dedan Sparse work because basically what I need to do I just need to take out the Amoongus first. And then from there, I need to... Okay, so Randy's going to go for Giga Train here. So we can actually just take out Amoongus, which is great. Uh, it's a really annoying support piece gone. And despite Rotom probably going to go for... T well, probably going for T-Bolt on the Orin Guru slot, I don't overly mind this. Because Randy definitely won't KO me. And clearing the Amoongus is probably overall a lot better for my team. Tank Tons to Sleep, not a huge deal in my opinion. Uh, Randy's going to go for Thunderbolt here. It's probably just going to take out... Yeah, it's probably going to take out Tinkaton. Okay, so Tinkaton's gone. Not a huge concern. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go for... Let's see, I'm going to go for, I think... I think I'm going to go into the Dun to the Dun Sparse here. Wait, hold on. Yeah, I'm going to go into the Dun Sparse here. And I'm going to go for the... Okay. 
So Rainy's probably gonna Dragon Darts plus T-Bolt. If I had to guess, he's gonna take out Orin Guru here. What I'm going to do, I'm gonna go for Body Slam on Rotom. And I'm gonna go for a Psychic on or on a Rotom as well. My goal here is basically just to take out the Rotom because I think it's a lot more potent offensively. We do see that Rotom does not protect this turn, which is really amazing for me actually. I don't think I'll KO Rotom, but I should get off a ton of damage from nothing else. Uh, yeah, we're definitely not gonna KO Rotom here, which is a little unfortunate, but it is what it is. If I tire a normal die, I think I could have actually taken it out, which that's also a little annoying, I can't lie. But I'm not too concerned with this. I'm also pretty sure that Trick Remains this turn, which is a little unfortunate, but I'm not overly concerned with that. Uh, the Dawn Spars, thankfully, is still 3 killed by this. It's actually so bulky, holy shit. This mod is actually really obnoxious to kill. Uh, please don't end Trick Trigger Remains, fuck, okay. So, I think at this point, what I need to do, I think I need to go... I think I need to go for a Roost here. And I need to kind of hope that Randy doesn't take me out. Um, you would basically need to go for D-Darts plus T-Bolt here, which, I mean, it's fairly likely. Um, I'm gonna go for... I'm gonna go for Psychic Gun Rotom just in the off chance. But I need to make sure that basically Dedan Sparse can live through this, which it doesn't look like it will. I really really hate tracking darts as a move by the way this move is so annoying um at this point though i kind of just need i kind of just need randy to yeah okay so oh randy took out Oran guru okay then i'm a little annoyed with the set of plays but it's not a big deal actually um so to dunsparce being alive here actually does open up a little bit because what i, gotta, what I can actually do i can just go for e-speed on the i can go for e-speed on the rotom banded e-speed should take that out I can't imagine a world where it doesn't, and I can from there go for a coil on the Dunsparce, and I think I'll actually be fine, because all I need from the Dunsparce is to coil up and then go for Tantrum on Dragapult while Randy probably taunts me, which should be decent. Actually, hold on. Am I fast on Arcanine? I am fast on Arcanine, so I can actually just go for Flare Blitz, which will probably be better long term. So I'm going to go for Coil here, and I'm going to go for a Flare Blitz on the Rotom. I'll completely avoid taking a T-Bolt, which will be great. If Randy goes for Protect here, so be it. If he goes into Grim here, so be it. I just need to make sure that I'm getting off damage on the Rotom. That's the biggest thing for me. And by going for by going for Coil onto Dunsparce, that should hopefully be beneficial to me. Rotom goes for Helping Hand, which, oh, that's a little terrifying. But it still shouldn't be a big deal. Because Arcanine will still take that. And I just need to KO the Rotom here. That's really my biggest concern. Also, I can go for a Roost next turn onto Dunsparce, which should be pretty good for me. And if, uh, so what I think I'll probably end up doing is, I think I'm gonna have to go for a Roost and Dunsparce. Hope I can take the two Dragon Darts, because I'm probably gonna get faked out. I'm gonna probably have to take a second Dragon Darts. It's gonna be a little rough. It's gonna be a little uphill, but I think I could still manage. Basically though, it's gonna come down to how well I take this Dragon Darts, I'll be honest, because Randy's probably... I, mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm probably gonna have to take a fake out here on Dedan Sparse, which will be a little annoying. Dedan Sparse... Well, uh, Randy going for fake out plus Dragon Darts, I think, actually wins in the game here. Okay. So, just in case, I'm gonna go for Roost. Um, and then... Let's see. I'm gonna go for... I mean, Terra Normal would be pretty... Not... Nah, it doesn't really matter, actually. I'm gonna go for Flare Blitz. Um, I'm just gonna kind of hope that, yeah, okay, so Randy goes for the D-Darts here. So this is gonna definitely take out Arcanine, and then next turn I think he just takes out Dunsparce, because he'll get two hits off. Um, and even still, Randy can just go for Taunt, and that actually shuts down to Dunsparce anyway, or he just KOs regardless on the next turn, yeah. Alright, very unfortunate to say the least, but it is what it is. Uh, Randy's team honestly ended up just being really, really damning against mine, holy shit. Uh, sometimes, I mean, some, listen, you win some, you lose some. Not really a big deal. Randy definitely, though, walks away with the win here. Because Dragon Darts should just KO. Uh, Randy go for Taunt. It doesn't really matter, actually, at this point. Because D-Darts 100% just KOs to Dawn Sparse. Very unfortunate. But you know what? It is what it is. I will say, I kind of wish I ended up committing to the to the Drag to the Dragal's change. I think the, Dra the Dragal's change could have actually been really terrifying against Randy's team. But to be fair, I also think that would have been a very particular like just against randy's team thing 
So I'll take that. I'll take that regardless. Uh, very good game to Randy. His team was honestly very terrifying. Make sure to check out Randy. I'm going to try and link some of his stuff down below. If you guys enjoy the content and you want to see more like it, leave a like and subscribe. Shout out to our channel members, of course, being Joshika Ultra Player, Mia, and Zeke Zero. Your support is greatly appreciated. And if you want to become a channel member today, it's just a couple dollars a month. And it really does make a difference. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Until then, peace out, guys.